G'day guys, I'm Gianni, and this is Alice. We're two of the GPs of Epic Cleave Hill Family Practice. Uh, we thought we'd make a video, or a short video, about treating snake bite, as over the last couple of years there's been a few um, snake sightings in the local area, and we thought we'd try and keep you guys safe over summer. So obviously the best thing to do is to avoid being bitten in the first place, but if you do get bitten by a snake, we're going to show you what you should do. Um, so the first thing you need to try and do is make sure that you're safe. If, you're, if the snake's still there, get away from it, but move as little as possible. Um, any movement can spread the venom, so stay as still as you can, but be safe. First thing you need to do is call an ambulance. Call triple zero um, and then manage your snake bite. Um, stay calm and still throughout the process if you can. So, yes, so the main, um, main aim of snake bite first aid is um, to try and reduce lymphatic flow. Now, that's normally achieved by applying what we call a um, pressure immobilisation bandage. So that's what we're going to demonstrate today. Okay, so, so this is my snake bite on my leg here. Um, usually snake bites occur on legs, but sometimes arms. We're going to be applying pressure to the snake bite with a bandage, um, which is easy to do on a limb. But if your bite is somewhere else, like an abdomen or something, just apply pressure with your hand or something else. Obviously, you can't bandage some sites. So, first of all, Johnny's going to apply a pressure bandage to the bite site. So, we've got a crepe here go. bandage here. Here we have our snake bite. <laughs> if you don't have an actual bandage, it's okay to use some clothing or a tea towel or whatever you've got close at hand. And all the while, we're trying to keep the patient nice and um, calm. Trying to reassure them. So that's our okay, initial so, pressure bandage. So this is tight enough so that it's not easy to stick your finger underneath the bandage, but not too tight. We don't want to cut off the circulation. And the next step is to apply a bandage all the way up the limb, nice and tight, stretchy bandage if you've got it, or whatever you've got, clothing, towels, whatever, starting at the toes. Or fingers if it's on the hand um, but keeping a little bit of fingers or toes out so that you can make sure you haven't cut off the circulation by checking the color okay so here we go <laughs> here we've got toes visible there not too tight patient no it's not too tight you're aiming for the bandage to be about as tight as if you were wrapping up a sprained ankle. So you just keep rolling your bandage around over the top of any clothing, cover as much as the limb, as much of the limb as you can. It's good. And then with a with a pen if you've got one or a little bit of dirt from the ground mark on the on the outside of the bandage where the bite was just to help any paramedics and doctors later on to locate the site. Next thing we're going to do is splint the limb so to prevent any movement. Um, so we've got this umbrella but you can use a cricket bat or a stick or whatever you can find. So we'll put that in between the legs and then use some other pieces of fabric to tie the two legs together around the splint. These are some slings that we have, but you could use any other material, whatever's, um, whatever's convenient, I guess. If your bite's on an arm, instead of wrapping arms together, just use a sling as, as a usual sling to stop the arm from moving. Number one. I doing that. So just to go over what we've done, the main things are call an ambulance, stay still, move as little as possible and apply pressure to the wound and to the entire limb. Thanks okay. for watching. This is Gianni and Alice signing out from Glebe Hill Family Practice. Have a safe summer. Bye guys. Bye.